for a moment, a city and a country stood still. The tributes continued to pour in for the wounded and dead. My best friend died here. Yeah. On Monday, Parisians also began to get back to work. The monuments and museums were open. People defiant that the terrorists weren't going to win. We're scared, but we know we have to fight back, and the only way to fight back is to keep on living the way we live. Pour adopter une résolution, the president of France was also vowing the country would not sit idle. French forces have already ramped up bombing missions in Syria. And in a rare address to the French Parliament, François Hollande promised more would be coming. La France est en guerre. There is strong evidence the attacks across Paris were planned in Syria. They were carried out by French and Belgian nationals. The alleged mastermind, a 27-year-old Belgian, Abdul Hamid Abba Aoud. Raids in the Brussels suburb of Molenbeek saw seven more arrested, including the brother of one of the suicide bombers and the only target still on the run. I can't tell you why my brothers did what they did. My family has always been open-minded, telling reporters. My parents are in shock. More information is coming to light as well about what happened during the massacre. Video posted to Instagram shows the moments the shots first rang out inside the Bataclan theater. Names and pictures of the victims are also now making their way onto the internet. Among the dead, two sisters celebrating a birthday at La Belle Keep restaurant. Their brothers saying, there were black people, Arabic people and Jewish people in the restaurant. All of us were hit. We're all in the same boat. As night fell, the Eiffel Tower was lit up again, this time in the tricolaire, a symbol of a nation fighting to regain what has been lost. Aaron MacArthur, Global News.